Travis Kelsey welcomes girlfriend Taylor Swift with romantic reunion party in Kansas City on Tuesday, October 1st. Taylor Swift and boyfriend Travis Kelsey had a romantic date night at a restaurant in Kansas City. Taylor Swift appeared in a black t-shirt and have pleated skirt while Travis Kelsey wore a black shirt, a white shirt over it, and cream pants holding hands with his girl. And Taylor Swift, as they walked inside a sushi restaurant in Kansas City, the couple was engrossed in their suite. Conversation and eyewitness said the couple took a photo together as they sat waiting for the waiter to bring their food Taylor Swift kinda Kansas to attend boyfriend Travis Kelsey his birthday. Where they spent some private time relaxing together Swift is spending time with her boyfriend Kelsey before returning to or tour in early October in Miami Kelsey, who just had a great performance to bring the Chiefs victory over the Chargers will officially 2 and 35 on October 5th coincidentally Swift and Kelsey will have an ideal vacation to celebrate Kelsey 35th. Birthday this is definitely a long vacation for a Swift in Kansas City, while the Chiefs' next game against the New Orleans Saints will take place on October 7th at Arrowhead Stadium Swift's appearances a sign of her appearance to cheer on her boyfriend Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift love cooking dinner together on their simple date nights. It's been claimed the Kansas City Chiefs player and pop superstar have been reunited in recent weeks after Swift's Smash It Eras tour went on a break until October. They also spent time at her lavish Rhode Island home at the end of August with close friends including Blake Lively Ryan Reynolds Bradley Cooper and Gigi Hadid. Kelsey his brother Jason and his wife Kylie were also there a new report claims they have been loving every minute together and have shut down any accusations that their relationship is a sham. But new details have shown the light on how the happy couple love to spend their time together at home a source told us weekly they are both chill people who love their downtime. Staying in is a luxury for them. They enjoy cooking dinner together. It's a refreshing contrast to their public lies they built a lot of trust. They both knew what they signed up for and navigated it well. They're in love and don't care what others think another source also insisted they have discovered a good balance between going out and staying in the couple have also reportedly started to consider what life may look like when Swift finally finishes her Mammoth Eras tour in December. Kelsey has also admitted he is in the twilight years of his football career Taylor is ready for the next era of her life. She knows it will be special Kelsey and Swift have been having serious conversations about what the future holds. It's been claimed Taylor has expressed how excited she is to settle down after her tour concludes. They're on the same page the source continued. They both see marriage as something they want sooner rather than later, and they both want kids Taylor has always been excited by the idea of marriage and starting a family. She just hadn't found the one until now Swift intends to continue watching Kelsey play as much as possible before her area's tour resumes in Miami on October 18th. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end is making his on-screen acting debut with a twisted horror series with episodes coming out every Wednesday on the eve of his highly awaited screen time, the show's Instagram account posted stills of Kelsey from his debut episode. The behind-the-scenes shots show Kelsey wearing an all-white ensemble and chatting with Nisi Nash's character Detective Lois Tryon in a garden setting. Another shot shows Kelsey walking towards National Hall with the camera crew filming him Travis. Tomorrow the account captioned his fans took to the comments section to express their excitement. Oh here we go one user wrote. I'm looking forward to see his abilities as an actor the Kansas City Chiefs were able to get the win and week for against the rival Los Angeles Chargers and it was due in no small part to the great play from their superstar tight end. Travis Kelsey had been very quiet through the first three weeks of the season as he only had eight receptions for 69 yards. But he flipped the script with a very solid game against the Bolts. He had seven receptions for 89 yards and while he still does not have a touchdown yet this season he has gotten back on the right track. If he has he been a halfway decent season Kelsey will climb the ranks on the all-time receiving list for tight ends. He currently sits at number 4 on the list and is 355 yards behind Antonio Gates. The way he started out the year did raise some concerns for whether he was going to hit Gates' mark this season, but he is back on track. He is currently on pace for just over 670 yards which would not be a great season for Kelsey put it would be enough for him to climb to know. 3 on the list. He will likely pick it up over the course of the season, and he will be back to his old self. There are still concerns, but Kelsey put some of them to bed this past Sunday. The Tide and had easily his best game of the season, catching seven passes for 89 yards as the Kansas City Chiefs' leading receiver. His contribution was sorely needed as the Chiefs scraped out a seven-point victory to get to 4-0. to zero. Kelsey great game, now his fans wondering what exactly happened during those first three weeks and what led to his breakout. Some bold fans have gone so far as to say Swift missing the game lead to Kelsey playing well. Not only that it's been theorized that a breakup contract that was reportedly put in place might have actually lit a fire under Kelsey and fueled the performance. While many try to decipher what led to Kelsey playing well there's a more logical answer that has to do with just football. The Chiefs' last star wide receiver rescue Rice and the win over the Los Angeles Chargers. 
This comes after the team had lost wide out Marquise Brown before the season, and running back as I approach Ico a couple of weeks ago, Kelsey was basically left as the last man standing at least of players Patrick Mahomes trusts and has established chemistry with. Add that the Chargers were without safety Derwin James due to suspension, and the defense was dealing with other injuries, and Kelsey took full advantage. He will be needed more so than usual with Rice potentially out for a very long time. Patrick Moore Holmes and the Kansas City Chiefs were backed up on their own 8-yard line. On 3rd and 6 the Chiefs needed a first down to waste the game late in the 4th quarter. Xavier Worthy ran a shell across across the middle, and my said the speedy wide receiver and strive for 15 yards to preserve the 17-10 when versus the Los Angeles Chargers the big-time game ceiling first dam catches precisely what Kansas City needs from their now depleted Chiefs wide receiving core, going forward Kansas City improved to 4-0 on Sunday. Yet the back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions were dealt a significant blow in the process. Rusty Rice will have his knee checked out Monday with an MRI. Chiefs coach Andy Reid said post-game, I'm sure it's not as good as we want. Rice injured his right knee while trying to tackle Chargers cornerback Christian Fulton following an interception by Patrick Mahomes in the first quarter. As Rice went in for the tackle, Mahomes inadvertently collided with the wideout as he attempted to take down Fulton. After the play Rice was helped off to the sideline and eventually carted off the to the locker room. The Chiefs ruled Rice out of the game and the first half I was trying to fire it to Travis Kelsey on his body. I overthrew him a little bit. I turned the ball over my home set of the play that injured Rice. I thought rest he made a really good play. I was trying to tackle the guy and obviously rolled up on him, but if I just don't turn the ball over that never happens. The Chiefs aren't expecting positive MRI results on Rice's need you guys all hung together. I feel terrible for Rass he read said. He's having a fantastic year. Rice came into week 4 with an NFL high 24 catches. He was the team leader in both catches and receiving yards 288. He emerged early on this year at the team's top pass catcher, even ahead of veteran tight and Travis Kelsey. Rice's absence could be a crippling blow in Kansas City's quest for an historic third straight Super Bowl victory. The team has already without running back eyes I approach Ico and wide receiver Marquise Hollywood Brown. But the Chiefs have won four straight one-score games to start the regular season and ten in a row dating back to last year. They find ways to win with Reed's play calling the best quarterback in the NFL and the only tight in the My Holmes kelsey connection was rekindled on Sunday. Kelsey who's had a quiet start to the year by his standards was targeted nine times in the tight and produced a season-high seven catches for 89 yards when the Rice-less Chiefs offens needed to go to target with Racy going out early you gotta put Kelsey back in that situation where he's getting high-volume catches my home said. The whole Kelsey thing in general hasn't been a worry to me. I know whenever we need him. He's going to make plays. Kelsey will presumably continue to get high-volume targets in Rice's absence. However Worthy might emerge as the go to a wide receiver. Worthy amassed three catches 73 yards and a touchdown, and the win including a 54-yard touchdown reception. In our receiving room, it's next man up Worthy said. Praying for our brother. But I feel like we have a lot of guys that able to make plays and key moment.